Homemade ice cream is really a delightful treat. It's creamy, it's flavorful, and it's not very hard to make. Two cups of heavy cream, two cups of whole milk, and a pinch of salt. Bring to a simmer over medium heat eight egg yolks. Next step. And uh, save the whites for something else. We want a nice, rich mint ice cream. And uh, whisk your egg yolks. The cream and milk, almost at that simmer, add two bunches of clean, beautiful, fresh mint. Press them down into the milk. This is going to make a really good mint ice cream. So let that steep one cup of sugar, granulated sugar. And you can just stir that in with your wire whisk. Whisk thoroughly. Do this right at the last minute because you don't want lumps. You want a nice, smooth custard. So now the mint has steeped into that hot milk and the cream. And I like to use a strainer to extract as much of that liquid as possible. Push it right back down into your pan. It should steep for at least an hour. That's going to give you the most minty flavor. And remove the mint. Turn your heat on and bring this back to a simmer. And we're going to temper our eggs, adding little by little the hot milk and cream to your eggs. Just start to temper, which means you're bringing the egg yolks up to temperature of the cream and milk. And add that to your pot. And stir with a whisk until you have a nice custard. Change to a wooden spoon. Keep stirring. I'm going to bring it almost to a boil, to about 160 degrees. If you're unsure of yourself, use a thermometer. And it's just starting to really cook. We don't want scrambled eggs, so be careful. Just for your edification, I'll put a thermometer in. We'll see what the temperature is. Turn your heat right off when you see it uh, coating a spoon. Watch, my finger goes down. It, it keeps the stripe right there on the spoon. And it is measuring a little bit more than 160 degrees. Just pour this entire pot through the sieve into a measuring cup. Now we want to reduce the temperature of this liquid, so just set it in a bowl of iced water. Don't let water get in your custard. And you can just stir. What you have to do is get the liquid to be chilled. So you can do that in an ice water bath like this and put this into your refrigerator and let it chill overnight. Here's our electric ice cream maker. Pour your custard into the pre-chilled bowl, leaving about an inch and a half at the top. So this will have to be done in two batches. Mmm, can't stop tasting, it's so good. Get the top on, close there. Chill for a couple of hours before serving or overnight is even better to develop that great mint flavor. So here's our ice cream. And I like to just warm my ice cream scoop in very hot water, dry it, of course, and then pull through the ice cream, making a beautiful spirally scoop. Mmm, so pretty. Now, do you want one scoop or two? I think we'll start with one. A sprig of fresh mint, a nice ice cream spoon, and there you have a treat that can't be beat. Really, really good. Enjoy.